Nah, I'm kidding. We're really, today we're just growing crystals with my 4M Crystal Growing Experimental Kit. So today we'll be growing a large crystal with the large cubicle thingy. And my beautiful assistant today is my little sister, Ivy. Spa. Hi, on, Spa. Okay, I'm doing it, Ivy. So, as you see, this 4M crystal growing experimental kit comes with a lot of things. It comes with three bags of monoaminoium phosphate. No, wait, let me pronounce that again. Monomonium phosphate. Three bags, see? Ooh. And then it comes with these colors that I have no idea what colors they are. I know that this one's blue and that this one's red, and I think this one's white, just the white. So, let's get started. First thing we're gonna need is boiling hot water in here. You're gonna need adult supervision, because you know, boiling hot water is, well, boiling hot. Mother, can you please bring it in? It's 200 milliliters in here, and it's boiling, okay? So really hot. I suggest you don't put your hand in it, because you could burn yourself, and I don't want any of you guys getting burned today. The next step is going to be, now, okay. Now add the contents of one large bag of white crystal compound to the water. Okay, Abby, pass me the scissors. So, assistant. And add it to the water. Okay guys, so you're just gonna like, okay. And you gotta mix till it dissolves. Okay. Which that might be a lot since I put an entire bag in. I see it dissolving because it become lesser and lesser of that part because that was a lot, guys. So, so when you're mixing, you gotta be careful and not spill, cause then you might actually grow a crystal on your counter. Ah, 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 ah. No, I'm not kidding you. Could. We're gonna leave it alone for 15 minutes for it to cool out, so we can come back and add color. I think these are color. Yeah color and the colors are like rock okay guys now that this is cool down yes yeah, cool down we're gonna transfer it <laughs> into this container which i already put the tap on for some reason okay and once you pour this water into this Wait, sorry, 30 minutes. We transferred it into this container, and after that, you just wait 30 minutes. So we'll see you guys after 30 minutes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so after 30 minutes, you're going to add your coloring. And then you do not stir it, and you leave it in a warm place for like seven days. We're gonna make purple, so you're gonna add two spoons of blue, one spoon of blue stuff, and sprinkle, sprinkle that, sprinkle. Oh, that looks so pretty. Now, we still have leftover if I ever wanted to do purple. I believe the blue is actually a bit more powerful than the red. It the looks purple, so it? pretty, it's so satisfying. Well, crystals will start to grow, guys, and it'll be purple for me. Well, if you ever buy this growing kit, it you can make it any color you want. And we'll be back with you guys after like seven days, because it says on the thing it'll last about like seven days for the crystals to start to grow. We'll show you how it's growing if we see like the little grow, and we'll show you it, guys, because then it'll prove that it really works. But, we'll see you guys in like a few days. Bye.
Okay guys, we've let seven days pass, and now it's time to empty out the purple dye. Well, if you do this, um, there might be a little excess crystal outside, which is very thin, so you could easily crush this crystal. So now we're gonna empty out the liquid in this. So you're gonna pour it into another beaker. You're not gonna really need it anymore. Okay, now we're gonna like rinse it and like clean this cup and see what we've created. In the bathroom sink or any sink you have, you, you have, you fill up water and then you're gonna throw it into this container. I'm so scared. I don't wanna ruin it or anything. You're gonna do this a few times to like clean it. See, it comes out purple. That's why you need to clean it. So don't tilt it a lot so you don't like make all the crystals fall and you know, lose all your hard work. So you want a little bit of color. Yeah. That's so, so I'm cleaning this container so you could actually see the crystal. Cause this is supposed to be the top. You're supposed to take out the crystal. And guess what, since this is round on the bottom, you know what happened? It gives the crystal like a flat round surface. Okay guys, so this is our finished beautiful display. There's a little platform. Now as you see, it's a very see-through since it is diamond. And it looks like a wondrous world of crystals growing everywhere. It took about seven days. We actually waited a bit more for it to get this way because I'm a very busy gal and I don't have time. You guys can buy this and make your own crystals. You guys can look up Crystal Growing Experimental Kit by 4M. It's a really good experimental kit. I love its crystal growing waves. I'm gonna make a bunch of other colors in my little system right here. Okay, so, the finishing touch. So nobody could destroy your crystal, you know, just like being like, I wanna break your crystal. So, bye guys, this is the end of the video. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment down below, my beautiful assistant. Bye. Under the sea. She's gone under the sea. Bye, my children. She's lost in a dark crystal cave. <laughs>